Hi, welcome to my channel Kasumi Chris. In today's video, I will be doing a Q&A from the questions you have sent me on Instagram. A little thing I wanted to mention, I won't be uploading as frequent as I did in the past three months. So I hope you can understand, but I'm trying to increase the quality. Question number one, which one do you like, ramen or potato? I meant ramen or udon. <laughs> I think I said potato because you had potato in your name, but I like ramen more. Which animal, not fish, is your favorite food to eat? Hello, Larry. It's such a tough question because it depends on what I feel like. Sometimes I'm like, oh, chicken is really the best thing ever, but then beef is so good and satiating as well. But if I had to choose, it would be beef. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. Pick one cheese that you have found to be the yummiest. Well, until now, I'm really enjoying camembert. Camembert, I think you say it like that. It's really, really stinky, but tasty. How to follow your dreams. Well, that, that could be a whole video on itself. And I think I could write a whole essay about it as well. However, I think one of the most important things is to not care about what anybody says or thinks of you. And I know that it's tough because even I do care to an extent. I think when you grow older, you start to care less and less, but there are still things that affect you. But I think when you can let go of that all and really don't care about what anybody thinks of what you said, that's how you can follow your dreams. If you could have one, dog or cat. My hair is not really staying in place today. It's a bit annoying, but I would say dog do you have any siblings brothers or sisters nope i don't i'm an only child what is the perfect morning for you well i always enjoy it when the sun is out and the sky is blue it doesn't matter if it's cold or hot if the sky is blue and the sun is shining that's already the perfect morning for me what's the craziest thing you have ever done i think that's a really tough question and probably i haven't done too many crazy things in my life to i don't even remember i think if you don't even remember the things must not be that crazy but i think i've done some drugs that's pretty crazy and i drank blood i think that's also considered pretty crazy how many calories are you eating i don't track my calories i've never tracked my calories so i don't know off the top of my head but in an upcoming what i eat in the day video i can track it and explain to you what how many calories i'm eating at the moment i'm actually doing one meal a day just to experiment just to see what it is what everybody is talking about i'm on day three now i'm trying to do this for a month but uh, yeah that won't give an ac accurate estimation of my calories either but stay tuned i will mention it in a video do you believe in god jesus yes I do believe that, yeah, I do believe. And from various accounts of books and Jesus just seems to be a, a person who has lived and walked on this earth. What way do you want your channel to go? Well, I've been lately thinking about it and I really want to go in a different direction with it. I don't want to explain too much about it because this is just a fresh idea in my head. But definitely, like I said in the beginning, I want to upload up grade my quality i want to also do more fun stuff do more funny stuff make people laugh more because that's something i'm a pretty goofy person i would say and i like to watch things that make me laugh so it seems natural to do things also on my channel to make people laugh but definitely continue on sharing my opinion about things and sharing my experiences why did you stop powerlifting and how are you finding calisthenics great question in another video i mentioned that i found that with lifting weights made me bulky and i know there are a lot of opinions about this i didn't do it right i didn't eat well la -di -da -di -da. in my experience i just got bulky and i didn't like it um next to that i think it had a real toll it took a real toll on my body especially in that time when i was eating a vegan diet oh I think I did so much damage to my feminine body hormonally and 
such so I don't think I ever will go back to really lifting heavy weights I do enjoy deadlifting I don't know why but I enjoy I really just enjoy lifting such a heavy weight but other than that I don't like squatting with like weights on me I don't know I, I just don't enjoy it so for health reasons I'm not really liking it anymore and maybe perhaps someday in the future I will do some deadlifting but I'm not at the gym anymore as well I'll make a video on that too but calisthenics right now it's very enjoyable because I don't have to do that at the gym I can go outdoors I can even do it at home but close to my house there is this playground where people work out and I'm going there I think every three days every three to four days and I love working out with my own body weight and not forcing myself to go super hard what do you normally have for breakfast and what are some of your beauty tips for your skin i normally have raw milk kefir with some berries in the morning lately oops, sorry lately i have not been having that anymore uh, the first thing that i eat it would be a fatty cut of meat one thing that i figured out that really is helping my skin is using sunscreen something that probably in this in the community of being natural and healthy and uh, whole foods eating people kind of say yeah you shouldn't use sunscreen because it is really toxic well i've noticed great improvements from starting to use sunscreen and i know that also has to do a lot with my diet i I eat a lot more fat, that's for sure, but sunscreen was a thing and cleansing your skin very well, especially if you have oily skin. What are some snacks and foods from the US that you would like to try but you can't get in the Netherlands? Well, we can get a lot of your snacks here in the Netherlands. In Amsterdam, there are stores filled with them. Even our local Asian stores have American products in them. So I'm not sure if I can't really get something, not out of the top of my head, but there are some things I really want to try and perhaps I'm gonna buy some and taste test them with you. What do you say? Let me know if you would like that. There's Reese's peanut butter cup. It just sounds heavenly and I want to try that out. Hi Reina, <laughs> what makes you happy? What makes me happy? I think I really like cuddling with my partner, it sounds cheesy, but it really makes me happy. Also, being with my family makes me really happy, even though I know I can argue a lot with my mom and my dad, but I really like being around them. What do you look for in a guy? Well, I, I don't know if I've ever looked for things in a person, but once I started to become more adult, more experienced in life with people, I noticed there are certain traits and things that I do find more attractive, but it's not always, it doesn't always have to be like that. I definitely like dark features, dark hair, dark eyes. So that's really superficial, superficial, very, yeah, superficial. Doesn't mean I can't get attracted to blonde people. In general, there needs to be some manliness in a man, in a guy. It, yeah. Looks in the end don't matter. And I'm really honestly saying this, looks in the end don't matter. My partner does have, does look very nice, but I don't think men have to be physically attractive to be attractive, but they have to be very manly. They have to be, they have to lead me. They have to be able to protect me when the time is there and that they genuinely want to care for me. I think that's the most important for me. What made you start your YouTube channel? Well, I went on vacation to Japan. I made some vlogs. I uploaded them to share my travels. I don't have them on my channel anymore. I privated them. It's really, it was really old. It was in 2013. And uh, from there on, people just started questioning or asking things. Like, where are you from? Uh, this or that. And then I started to make other types of videos. And that's how I started. Number one and most important reason to do NoFap. Well, I, I must say it helps your mental state. Just getting rid of that just improves your mental state. You're a little less mentally ill, I would say. Favorite meal to eat. 
That's the tough question. I would say like a nice piece of meat with a lot of butter and then a plantain next to it. I can eat that every day or some eggs. Mm. Eggs, eggs are good. Excuse me if my hair keeps changing. I'm having an awful time of getting it in the right place. What is the best method for being mentally stress-free in a relationship? What a question. Well, I definitely think that being honest and communicating a lot can prevent a lot of stressful situations. Your favorite books. At the moment, I'm still reading, almost finishing, a book by Robert Greene, The Art of Seduction. And this is by far the best book I have ever read. I haven't read many books. I have read a good quantity of them, but this one really stands out. I really like it and do recommend it. Want healthy hairs, what should I do? <laughs> well, I was just talking about my hair. Uh, my hair has definitely gotten a lot healthier. What I'm doing differently, you can watch some of my older videos and you know exactly what I mean. My hair was brittle, falling out. I was getting bald at this spot and it was just really lifeless and just yikes. It wouldn't grow even. Now it's finally growing. What helped? What I did different? Eating more protein, animal based protein, good quality ones, more fat, less carbs, less sugar, less processed food in general. But I think by far fat and protein are the most important for your hair and getting them from sources that you can actually digest. So try, 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 try to stay away from the nuts and seeds because those things are not really great to digest and also stay away from sugar. If someone has no one or nothing, what would you recommend they do to value themselves? for a friend? Well, that's a pretty hard question to answer. I definitely think you have someone around you, right? But in the worst case, I always think you should choose a purpose for yourself. Because when you're purposeless, you tend to not do much in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe just go to work, go to school, laying around, scrolling throughout the day. And that's gonna make you depressed, especially doing nothing. That's something that is a big hole for me. If I do nothing, my thoughts will get the best of me. I'm a person that has to be busy all the time, constantly doing something for me to feel my best. But if you don't know what to do, you can feel a little bit under the weather, not so well. So find a purpose for yourself. Find something that you're really good at. Practice that every single day, become even better at it and see if you can help people with that skill. Did you go to college and if so, what did you major in? I did go, but I didn't finish anything, but I'm actually thinking of going back. That was the end of this Q&A. Thank you for all of your questions. If you would like me to do a video on a certain topic, leave it in the comment section down below, like food or hair or skin. I will be happy to talk about those subjects. And like this video if you enjoyed it, share it, and also subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here. Hang out with us in this Kasumi Chris community and I will see you in my next video. Bye.